Hello everyone, I am going to make a presentation on safety instrumental system maintenance process. This video is being taken on behalf of instrumentationtools.com and automationcommunity.com. Kindly watch and subscribe to the channel. SIS Maintenance When plant facilities having safety instrumental system goes into operation, maintenance has three primary responsibilities, which is perform SIS related proof testing, define the frequency of SIS components to be proof tested, perform SIS rep repairs as needed. This is to ensure time up to which a sensor in a multiple configuration can be allowed to stay out of service. Normally this should not exceed twice the schedule frequency otherwise higher level management authorization is required. Meaning if the sensor is calculated to be proof tested every three years then maximum it can extend up to six years. So it should not exceed that limit as long as the proof testing has to be done without ending for due. Otherwise it calls for some sys repair deferral like that in different work process it has to follow through. That's what you mentioned. It is it has to go for a higher level management authorization. Always maintain documentation about the results of the sys test and repairs. Results of all tests and services performed on the SIS safety instrument system should be documented. This should note whether the service was planned or unplanned. Like it can happen, the schedule can happen. For example, uh, in the month of November, on day 20th November, there, there is going to be a planned shutdown, but planned uh, proof testing for a particular sensor and final element. But if there is a planned trip happen around the 10th or 15th of November, which is a week before the actual shutdown date, actual proof test date, which is a week before the actual proof test date, then during this shutdown, this safety instrumental system would have acted. We can take either those grid or the shutdown time can be utilized to do the proof testing on those instruments. Rules of SIS maintenance. SIS proof test intervals shall be established based on safety integrity level and sys configuration hardware and software this is uh, about the configuration of one out of one one out of two two out of two two out of three like that those configuration is being talked over here so proof test intervals, intervals are arrived based on the safety integrity level which is done based on the different calculations by the safety system experts proof test intervals is to be calculated using relevant tools for sys and ensure it meets the safety requirements for doing the SIL calculations and all, there are different uh, tools available from international agencies. Those can be utilized. Periodic proof test documentation shall be kept at least to, for the last two tests to ensure that SIS integrity. If tests confirming the SIS requirement, additional testing to be planned. Supposing any instrument failing the test, so the root cause of those failures need to be identified and then need to be corrected. Maintenance responsibility. The responsibility of plant maintenance team is to do proper maintenance of safety instrumented system in order to ensure that the required sill of each safety instrumented function is maintained and to confirm the designed functionality safety is maintained for the plant. So maintenance has the responsibility to do the testing at the proper intervals and by maintaining the instrument in a good integrity. So here we are seeing one sample of the maintenance system overview. This is from the ERP tool of a particular company. And here we are seeing the SIF number, SIF 1 to 10 and SIF name. It will be like a, here it is a being example it is given as example 1, 2 and all. And the integrity level, safety integrity level. This is SIL 2 type of SIF and the second one is a SIL 1 type of SIF. And uh, here the description like here the PZ. 311 312 closes XV 311 on high pressure. This is some uh, pressure uh, instruments which uh, creates a signal and then closes the XV which is on off file. The first uh, sample. Second example is uh, on LS 100 closes XV 100 on high level. This is a level transmitter. When it, go, uh, when it goes high, it is giving a close command to close the on off file associated to it. It's a segmented proof test means it will be done in the parts segmented and end to end means it's uh, for the complete loop. 
and uh, it here the next column the next test which is should because it's a older data that's why it is giving a older date on 14th seven 2020 and we will go through this lines here next test in days due days is so seven days is due for the next test minus one days means it is crossed actually that's why it is having a over due over due means it has crossed the deadline date next test scope is calibration sensor element calibration is this stands for the sensor element it's calibration override active no any override is there like by bypass anything is there no and lifetime issue is it a lifetime problem yes lifetime overdue for this instrument sir. so whenever it is in yellow there is uh, that is needs to do an attention maintenance has to do an activity all this one that's what here mentioned here sif needs attention proof test interval exceeded with a less than 5% or partly override active or other issues needs attention when it is exceeding the pre planned interval frequency time then it is uh, the it is the particular sif element is indicated in yellow the guy giving an alert when it is in green here, here we see the description the sif is okay proof test interval not exceeded and no override active and no other issues green means it is healthy this is done in the in appropriate time and when it is become red not sif is not okay proof test interval exceeded with more than 5% or override active and or other issues when it is in yellow it is less than 5% that is here less than 5% overdue if it is uh, more than 5% overdue it uh, becomes red so uh, giving highest alert uh, for the maintenance personnel to look at it so here there are different uh, legends sc stands for the sims element L stands for the logic solver. F stands for the final element. And S C calc means sensor element under calibration. Pro test always refers to proof test or calibration. So here, whenever the maintenance is doing that uh, activity, they have to record this log. They have to update in the ERP system. Sys maintenance proof testing requirements. The sys shall be designed in according with the maintenance and testing requirements a proof test is a physical test to determine if there are problems with a sys or bpcs ipl component that the online diagnostic does not check actually there are some smart instruments which is having a online diagnostic capability they run through the online testing internally and reports of any problem but the physical test ensures that in the physical test the complete range of the instrument will be fed and checked and it will be checked for the alarms it will be checked for the error messages on the sensor electronics it goes to the many steps and it will be checked for the constants if there are any constants configured in the transmitter that will be checked whether it is matching to the old last calibration value any correction factors k factor like that those kind of data will be in uh, analyzed during the proof testing for example for a sensor this could be plugging in the sensor line the pin hole in the diaphragm or an undetected electronic drifter the proof test brings out or falls problems in the instrument if any there is a plugging in the instrument impulse lines then the readings will be eventually not proper so when the transporter is checked for the calibration for its uh, 0 to 100 percent range and if it is giving a good result as expected then the, if the transporter is not reading as per the process condition there could be possibility of these three two three uh, conditions like uh, plugging in the sensor line pinhole in the diaphragm or undetected electronic drift, which happens in the sensor internally may impact the readings depending on redundancy and application the proof test may be required some instruments be pulled out of service or process needs to be shut down. That's what if there is a one out of one configuration and the calibration or proof testing cannot be done online, then it is a big challenge. It may call for the shutdown of the particular part of the particular part of the plant or particular equipment of the plant. Proof testing requirements will for, for, go further. This is why it is very important to consider proof testing when designing a safety integrated system. In all cases, the goal of proof testing is to return the component as good as new so that healthiness on the instrument 
is ensured. So it is mandatory to do the proof testing at the desired frequencies and uh, so that the uh, running condition is being reset. For example, it is being reset and it is ready to go for the next uh, 3 years or 5 years as per the calculations. Uh. The performance of all CIS components must be periodically proven via proof testing including CIS category walls. The degree to which a CIS valve is leak tested is determined by its required functionality. So the leak testing is another uh, critical phenomena wherever uh, the valves are in the oxygen line service or any chemical service which may require a tight uh, shut off conditions. That means it can have only 0.003 bubbles per minute uh, and passing it and only this is a standard APA standard. So exceeds that means the valve is not meeting the requirement and it is passing. So necessary corrective action to be taken probably the valve has to go for a repair internally the some lapping or machining of the wall body or a stem need to be done to overcome that leak issue. Based on the plant unit criticality, some valves may require zero leakage. That's what I explain now. Those valves that are determined to do require a bubble tight leak performance, also called a tight shut off, due to exceptionally low weak limits necessary to maintain risk mitigation, need to demonstrate this level of performance. Options for bubble tight testing are to conduct the bench testing in the valve shop or inline testing. There are two possibilities. On the inline also it is possible to do the shop uh, to do the wall leakage testing or it has to be done in the mm, uh, uh, laboratories or workshops. In some cases SIFs can accept large leak rate as per the calculations while maintaining the risk mitigation. So it's not mandatory that all valves need to be zero leakage. Some valves in some service, even though it is in the safety instrument system, the service may not be quite critical wherein they need to maintain. For example, seawater system. So it can uh, wait in case this valve is not working, it's passing, it's not meeting the leakage requirements. So it, it will not uh, hamper anything only the valve will be passing otherwise the function will be maintained whereas in other critical applications the passing uh, causes a severe issue for the operations and leak test for the final element in this application service may be visual inspection checking in the field for the stem movement by an experienced instrument technician who are having good experience has to do the testing this logic solver testing this is on the processor Proof testing, repair and documentation procedures also apply to logic solver. Maintenance frequency of logic solver may be different than the sensor and final element. Usually the proof testing of logic solver is matched with the plant's turnaround or major overhaul frequency so that operations are not affected because logic solver is being the heart. It's the heart of the safety instrumented system. So any time it has to be in line and working. Even during the shutdown conditions, the safety instrument system should be healthy so the operations may be required to stroke some walls test them during that time also is required so the logic solver selection and application as for the sepsis is quite critical even though the plan goes for shutdown the logic solver functionality may need to be maintained to maintain some essential services like cooling water steam etc this is what i briefed a little before so even though the plant is shut down, doesn't mean that the sys logic solver can be stopped. No, it has to keep in running condition. And the outage for the logic solver processors will be given uh, maybe one day or maximum one day like that, depending on the plant criticality. So in this time, the required proof testing or, uh, or the testing has to be done. The responsible project engineer can bring and do the uh, testing with the help of the maintenance people. The logic solver hardware must be periodically tested according to a written proof test procedure to detect and safe and diagnosed failures. This is what the logic solver also will have the testing at the calculated intervals. The test to go for the testing like in this case 
one uh, because always the, if it is redundant processor always two processors are working in parallel and ready to do the takeover shutdown is the best period wherein one processor can be make idle make uh, the program uh, stop and immediately the uh, signal everything will change out to control everything will change out to the next processor and the second processor will keep running once the things are established to the prior condition again we can switch up the second second processor for the first processor to take over like that testing also can be done during the running stage because logic solver is a very vital and a critical part of the safety instrument system this has to work perfectly for the total whole system to perform well thank you very much